Hi, welcome to Imagine with Illuminart. My name is Yvonne Rowan, and today we are going to be creating a sonnet from a memory. Now, a sonnet is really just a story. Often it's a memory or a promise that we want to share with someone we care about or someone who's important to us. So the first thing I want you to do is to think about someone who made a difference in your life. Now, when I was preparing this lesson, I thought about a friend of mine. She's a singer and she was working out of town when all of this took place and so she's still out of town. And we text and we talk, but I really don't know with travel restrictions and everything else that's going on, when we'll actually be able to physically see each other again. So many of us have been missing people we care about and not being able to connect with the people that are close to us. And actually remembering her and how we really became friends was a really beautiful moment because I felt super close to her while I was working on this project. And I hope that you have a similar experience. Now, my friend and I, we were acquaintances. We knew each other sort of the way you know a work colleague that you like and maybe go out with socially occasionally. She and I met while doing theater together and um, we got along, <laughs> we had fun, but we weren't super close. And then one day, she invited me to an event on Governor's Island. It was a large picnic. They used to have it annually. I don't know what will happen now, uh, but it was sort of a prohibition era picnic on Governor's Island, dressing up in courage. There were cocktails on the island. It was pretty fun. There was a pie contest. And so I said, yeah, this sounds great. I got all dressed up. I put on a blue polka dot silk dress. I put on a big hat and rolled down my socks and put on my most flappery tea straps and packed us a nice picnic and I found my way to the ferry and went to Governor's Island and met her on the green. And it was supposed to be a group of friends of hers that I was meeting there and I was a little nervous about meeting all these new people and I got there and there she was on the green managing her cell phone as everyone else she had invited for some reason or another canceled for the day. Now, because this was an event on Governor's Island and you had to take a ferry, that gave us about five hours to just be together, having cocktails, enjoying a picnic, walking around, sharing ideas, stories, thoughts, and we realized we viewed the world very similarly. We had a lot in common, and we became very, very close that day. So that's my story, and that's going to be my sonnet. I want you to take a moment and think about your story. Think about your person. What's the story you'd like to tell? What is the thing you'd like them to know about the way that they impacted your life? Take a moment and think about that. You can pause the video if you like, maybe even write it down or speak it out loud to put it in a sort of order and remember it for yourself. It's okay, videos have pause and I can wait. Do you have your memory? Do you have your story? Read it over again. What are some of the sights and sounds, textures, colors that were specific to that moment that you remember? For me, it was a blue polka dot dress and a specific cocktail that involved an elderberry liqueur. What might it be for you? Think about that for a moment. I'm gonna pause again and wait. Great. So now you've done step one. You have your story and you've written that down or spoken it out loud to rehash the memory. And now you might even have a list actually in your mind or that you've just re recollected memories or even a physical list of the sights and sounds and smells that bring that memory to life for you. So we're gonna write a sonnet. Let's get technical. A sonnet is 14 lines. Each line consists of 10 syllables in a weak, strong rhythm. Now, those 14 lines are arranged into three stanzas and a rhyming couplet. Each of the three stanzas is four lines, and the first and third line rhyme, and the second and fourth line rhyme. The rhyming couplet at the end is two lines that rhyme. It sounds something like this. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? 
Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometimes declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wandered in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest, so long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this and this gives life to thee. Now, I read that a little forced so that you could get a sense of the rhyme and the rhythm in it, but um, it does bear a gentler reading. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaf hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometime declines. By chance, or nature's changing course, untrimmed, but thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Now we're going to write our own sonnet. Start by writing a sentence or a clause that relates to your story. I talked about my story, so let's start with, I wore a sun hat with flowers on it to the picnic. Now, hmm. let's see if we can make that 10 syllables long. I wore a sun hat with flowers on it. So that is 10 syllables, but flowers doesn't fit the cadence right. I wore a sun hat with flowers on it. Hmm. So let's see if we can fix it. I wore a sun hat dressed with flowers there. I wore a sun hat dressed with flowers there. It may seem daunting at first, but the weak, strong construction is really close to the way we naturally speak English. Try it. Write a line or two about your friend and see if you can shape it into a 10-syllable iambic line or two. And then see if you can make that into a poem. It's a really lovely way to seal a memory and remember and share something nice about your friend. You may have to do some configuring. You may have to mess things around a little bit to fit a rhyme scheme. I told you about my story, so let's look at how I started. I took a ferry across the river's breadth to land scented with flowery cocktails. A sun hat brought panache and welcome shade. A dress of silk suggested older times. So now I have four lines and they fit the iambic construction. We have 10 syllable lines in the weak strong rhythm, but they don't really fit that first and third line rhyme and second and fourth line or AB rhyme scheme. So here we go. Let's try it again. All right, what we're looking for is an AB AB rhyme scheme. And I move some words around. I took a ferry across the surging waves to land scented with elderberry wine. A sun hat brought panache and welcome shade. A dress of silk suggested older times. So now we have both the 10 syllable construction and the AB, AB rhyme scheme that we're looking for. So I started this video by telling you the story of my friend that I met at a picnic. And this is the sonnet that I ended up writing about that day. I titled it, A Picnic on Governor's Island. I took a ferry across the surging waves to land scented with elderberry wine. A sun hat brought panache and welcome shade. A dress of silk suggested older times. Who knew that pie and silk would tie a knot 
that held laughter and secrets in its grip. An old acquaintance ripened with our thoughts into a bold and lasting true friendship. Now I recall the keening of the band, the breeze, your smile, and details of small note. But how this bond will weather shifting sands is music not yet played, nor even wrote. Whatever symphony, I know this true. My days are richer sharing them with you. Now you try it. Take the time to make a memory into a poem. Share it with your friend if you can. And remember, keep imagining, keep creating. We'll see you real soon.